Um, today we're gonna be painting this very beautiful um, sagebrush girdle moth. It is so cool. Look at the patterns on this moth. Sagebrush girdle moth, a very large species of um, geometer moth. Um, got my spreading board. Um, shit. Okay, so. Um, put the pin through thorax, just like that. I have a spreading board with me, finally. Um, I got this a long time ago, like, probably a year after, or half a year after I started collecting in 2019. Um... Let's adjust it. It has these nice wing nuts here, so you can tighten it down. I only use this side up until here for things, because I used to just put this against a heater to dry it, and it, like, it warped this edge here. You can see in this edge, and this edge is, like, See how it's like off a little bit, but I don't do that anymore because I actually have patience to drying things. While I'm pinning this, I'll um, share how I got this one. Put it through here. Move those legs a little bit. I'm gonna move these legs off camera. All right, move the legs. Now the cooler of the fridge went off. So stick that in there, nice and good. Now you gotta take your forceps and um, get the damn thing in there. Right where the edge of the wing is flush with the edge of the pad. <clears throat> now, um, these are actual glassine sheets. I I cut from a glassine bag from a cicada that I ordered online. Um. So I'm gonna use these for the sheets. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna zoom in here. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Crap. I have the phone on this cup. I stuck a piece of foam here. I cut one thing at an angle and one thing straight to act like my little tripod. So I have it at an angle right now. There. I think that'll be good. I don't have an actual tripod with me. So. Alright. There, that's a good view. Okay. So, take the glassine sheets. So how I caught this, um, I don't have a screen for my window, so I ordered a 4-pack of 20-watt, um, LED ultraviolet black lights, um, so I used one to put on my window. And 
I put the I, I, I shine the light out the window. Overnight, this was this was last night before I went to bed. When I woke up today, there was about fifty moths on my walls. One of them this was on my windowsill. Um let me take these ones out. We don't need those anymore. I don't want any permanent holes in the wings. Anyway, this guy was on. Might be a female, I'm not sure, but very beautiful moth. The one of the most prettiest moths I've got yet this year. This this a uh, year is all about moths so far. Soon is all well, gonna be about beetles soon, so stay tuned for those videos. Um Beetles are gonna start to come out in June. The flying beetles. We got we we got some ladybugs. Like a lot of ladybugs. There was millions of ladybugs. It was crazy. Um I got a couple of new species too. I got a a I forgot what one was. It was in this it's in the same genus as the convergent ladybug ladybugs. Um and uh Um, I got a transverse ladybug, which is in the same genus as the seven spot ladybug. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff there out right now. Propping the abdomen up. I think it's a male actually, because these organs are out. Don't know what these are. Are those male scent organs or are they female organs? I'm trying to prop it up here. Screw it, I'm doing an off camera. Okay. Um I'll show you the organs here real really quick. I think those are male scent organs. Usually male moths have a more furry tip of their abdomen for scent glands so they can spread scents everywhere to attract females so they can mate and reproduce and do their little thing. Oh look! Oh! A bird just landed on my wall and ate something. I don't know what it ate. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna spread the um, antenna real quick. It has feathered antenna, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna do this off camera though. Alright, I spread the antennas now. I think I did a pretty good job. Let it focus here. It's pretty good. Let me s zoom in. There. Feathered antenna. I love those patterns, dude. They're so cool, dude. Wow. I love this moth. There's still quite a few moths in there. I'm gonna show you those real quick. I also caught um these. Those two I'll men um talk about in a later video, but um I also got this small noctuid moth. Pretty interesting looking. And some kind of pyralid moth. Which is also pretty cool looking. You can see the patterns in there a little bit. Um, I'm going to pin those later. I'm not going to film them, so I'll do an update on them, I guess. This you probably know about, um, a naturalist. This is, um, what I use to identify everything. Um, 
See here, curve land angle. There's literally one right here. <laughs> right there. Tell me that's not the same moth. Come on. That's actually a nice specimen. I'm, I might pin that. Um, there's another geometer moth in there. This is the light. 20 watts. I don't know what that means. Um, it was a four pack. Um, little tiny snout moth. Ecnumen wasp. And then... One on the ceiling there. One on the ceiling there. One stuck in a cobweb. One right there. And then a bunch of the other crap. There's a little fly right there. Um, green bottle fly. So yeah, that's the pinning video. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Lizard land!